What, what, what is that? It's a big box. Hey, welcome to a new video. Now today I have a, I think it's a coffee maker, espresso machine. This was a gift to give it to me. It's in the big old box right here. And on the side of it, oh, on the side of it, nope, on this side, on this side. Oh, it says on both sides, it says right here. Oh, let me get it up here, it's pretty heavy. Made in Switzerland. I don't even know the name of it. So we're gonna both be surprised when I cut it open and see what it's called. I know it says it's white. Model number is 15264. That makes any sense. But thanks for being here. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, let's cut this box open. Okay, so I got me a camera person. We're going to cut this box open and see what this is. Oh, that's pretty easy. Oh, there is something inside here. Let me see if this says what it's called. It is called a Jura A1 Piano White Espresso Machine. Piano White 15264. So, um, I grab it out of here though. That's heavy. Yeah, it's heavy. Ta da! Ta da! Ta da! Doesn't even show what it looks like, huh? It looks like this. <laughs> when you make the drink, I guess. So let's, um,. Okay, let's see what we get here. I'm gonna start right here. Well, I mean, in the box it doesn't say a whole lot. So normally I would turn the camera and look at it and read what it says. It doesn't really say a lot. A lot. So let's. Wow. Let me see if this receipt says what it costs. It does not say what it costs. So I do not know what it costs. I think it's like $7.99, $700, yeah. So I assume they give you this so you can grab it like this and pull it out. Box is empty. And there's this. Okay, so manual. Uh, what is this? Two cleaning tablets. A, a spoon? A soup spoon. Or probably a coffee spoon. This? this looks like a filter. Filtered cartridge. Laboratory tested original Jura product. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. Yeah. Tray for, I think your coffee cup to go here and yeah. So let's see what this looks like. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Wow. Now that is, that's nice. That's really nice. Um, let me get it off of this thing. Whoa. Get off of here. Okay, I'm gonna fold all this stuff up, clean this stuff all up, and then we'll take a look at that. So I've got all the trash picked up around it. So there's this, there's a tray here. Um, your dry coffee grounds that, cause this thing is a coffee grinder. It'll grind your whole beans. Grind? Grind, ground, grind. But it also, where it has like a cleaning process, so it'll actually fill this up. So you need to put this in here. And then it's got these touch touch controls up here. It's all lit now, but that's not really true. So you pull this off and it's gonna be blank. See that? But we'll leave it there for now. So this is where you would put your Whole beans go in there and then um, I don't know what all these are I'm gonna have to read the instructions 
Do you know there's like a water, you put your water in here. Oh, you can take it off. You put your water in there, fill up to the max. Um, somehow you gotta put the filter, the filter somewhere. So let me read the instructions, which, which are in, in this book here. Uh, we'll get this open and we'll read it and then we'll get back to you. So I'm getting the manual out. And how do you really say that? Is it is it Jura? I don't know. So I'm look, look, looking at the never do's. So it says never fill the instant coffee in it. Okay. Never put sugar coated coffee. Never fill anything other than coffee beans in there. So no like nuts or spices. Never use frozen coffee beans. Never fill anything but fresh, cold, clean water into the water tank except when decalcifying never use mineral or carbonated water you can use tap water bottled water spring water or reverse osmosis water never do anything with the machine which is not described in these instructions in case of doubt you need to call your dealer they have a dealer for these huh anyways i'm gonna keep looking through this big book okay so Couple things right here. Okay, your beans go in there. Maybe get closer so you can see. Beans go in there, whole beans. You get a little door here, flips open, and there's like a hole here. That's where you put ground coffee. This one here is your grinder adjustment and grinder adjustment knob. I don't know what that means. I'm not gonna adjust that at all. So your water tank is here, and this is where your cartridge goes. So you will flip here and you flip up and put your cartridge down there and you flip this on top, I do believe. Um, that's what I'm reading through right now. So it's first time to set up, put it horizontal in a safe spot. Not, you don't, that's water, that water cannot hurt. It says, notice coffee beans, which have been treated with additives called sugar, ground coffee or freeze dry coffee will damage the grinder. So you gotta make sure you use proper beans. I bought some Starbucks pikes, pike roasts pike something so fill the coffee beans for some use when using the machine for the first time you can choose whether you want to operate zero with or without the clearal clear clearal clearal blue filter cartridge if the water hardness is 10 dh or more we recommend using the filter cartridge if you do not know the hardness of your water you can find this out first on chapter one prepare and use in the first time determine the water hardness hmm. preparing and using for the first time this chapter provides you information without any problems. Yeah. Anyways, so we're gonna fill out, figure out how to do this. Precondition beans. Okay, beans container filled. It just says it wants you to put beans in there. Never use a, a machine which is damaged. Never use a machine which has a defective power cord. Well, I mean that, that that's good advice. So insert the mains plug into the power socket. Press the on/off button. The descaling symbol and the filter symbol are lit up. Now decide whether you want to operate Jura with or without a chloral blue filter cartridge. First time use the cartridge filter. Touch the filter symbol, the water tank symbol, lights up. Remove the water tank, open the filter holder, insert the filter cartridge into the water tank. Exerting slight pressure. Choose the filter holder. Close the filter holder, it will click into place. Audibly, it says. After two months, the filter will cease to work. Set the date on the date plate on the filter holder in the water tank. There's a filter. Oh, it does have a date holder. You got two months, so you go, huh. Okay, I'm gonna get some power. Can you see me? I'm gonna get some power, plug this thing in. We're gonna do a thing right here to get it set up and get it working all on the camera shot. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna got the filter, pull this out. Do exactly what it says. We're going to do this. You put your disc down here, like so. With pressure, it says, which is what I just did. Put this down here, and then set it for two months. How do you uh, how do you turn this? I don't know what that means. Maybe I was supposed to label that or something. It is, oh, you know what? This is how it works. 
So you turn it to the month you're on. We are in February, and it's good through um, April. Yeah, that's pretty smart. That's pretty simple. Ta-da. Okay, next. Next, we gotta get some, uh, we're gonna, oh, so what, you know what? I think I was gonna turn on power first. Wasn't I supposed to turn on power? You think so? Okay, we'll do this then. We're gonna do exactly what it says. It says hit power. Let's pull this off, don't need that. Hit power. You have power. Okay, it says right here. So let's hit this. This says water, but we're gonna do this first. Put this back down in here. With pressure, slight pressure, click that in. Got it? Got it. Now, we're gonna put some water in here. So let's go get, I'm gonna do my best to not make a mess here. It's gonna get heavy in here. If I hold it, pour water in. Almost to the max. This is a 30 ounce um, Ozark Trail brand, like a Yeti cup, which I think it's to work with me. So that really works out. There, coffee's done. Cartridge is in there. Watch, it's gonna do something there. Starbucks, Pike Place. Maybe not. Yeah. That's cleaning out the lines. Get it nice and cleaned out for you. That's what it was saying that it would do. Choose a filter mode, mode which I did. And what does that say? Water, you can take this up. Oh man, I see there's water everywhere in here now. See that? How'd water get in there? Wow, I did not see that much water going there. Okay, I'm gonna go pour this out. Be right back. Let's put this thing back on here. There's a lot of water was inside that thing. So, so, um, rinsing the filter stops automatically. Machine heats up. First time use without, no, we're doing with. Okay, let me skip to with. Okay, filling the water tank. Daily maintenance of the machine and hygiene when handling coffee and water are key to prefer perfect coffee result in the cup every time. You should therefore change the water daily. We drink a lot of coffee, so we're gonna go through, um, it'll be emptied out every day for sure. Notice, milk, sparkling mineral water, or other liquids can damage the water tank or the machine. Only fill water tank with fresh, cold water. Remove the water tank and rinse with cold water. Fill water tank with fresh, cold water and reinsert. Determining water hardness, get a pH strip. I don't have a pH strip. Preparation. Okay, the machine always uses the preset amount of water for, to type, for the type of coffee in question. You can change the settings, see chapter two for preparation. That's that's what I'm on. It told me to see this chapter, but I'm on this chapter. Okay, 
hot coffee can cause scalding. Scalding is a serious burn. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what size of coffee, because you can change the size of coffee. Ah, here we go. Permanently setting the amount of water for the cup size. Um, it is easy to make permanent settings for the amount of water for all specialty coffees according to the cup size. Adjust the amount once as shown in the following example. Every time you prepare a drink in the future, this amount of water will be dispensed. Example, per permanently adjust the amount of espresso to the cup size. Precondition, your Jura is ready for use. Place a cup under the dual spout. Touch the espresso symbol for three seconds until the Rosetta, 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 and coffee bank symbols appear. Okay, release the espresso symbol the espresso is prepared. The espresso symbol and the coffee string symbol are flashing. Touch the espresso symbol as soon as there is enough espresso in the cup. Preparation stops. The amount of water for one espresso is per permanently stored. The espresso symbol and coffee string symbol flash until the machine is ready for use again. You can alter the settings at any time. Since you can also use ground coffee, you can choose to use, to use a second coffee variety for example decaffeinated coffee with the powder shoot for ground coffee use ground coffee which is not ground too finely very fine coffee can block the system never add more than one level measuring spoon of ground coffee the desired specialty coffee must be prepared within approximately one minute after filling with ground coffee otherwise the jira stops the operation and is once more ready for use if you did not add sufficient amount of ground coffee, the symbols of the, these will all start flashing and stuff. So I'm thinking that this means, so on the picture it says, this is the small one. So this one's called the Ristretto. Restretta, how, how do you say that? Ristretto. And then this one here, no, that one. So just press this one and this one. Press the espresso and this one. You hold down those two for three seconds. You release it. Wait. Oh no, you press this one in the middle for three seconds until these two, these two start flashing. When they start flashing, you re release this one. And then you touch it again. Sorry, you touch, yeah, you touch this one in the middle again when it fills up enough what you think should be your proper cup of coffee. So we're gonna give this a shot. Okay, so I've been reading these instructions. We'll try to do this like it says, okay? So you're gonna touch the espresso button for three seconds. One, two, three. Nothing happened. Okay, that's not correct. That's not what was supposed to happen. I am curious to know how much coffee is gonna put in there. Oh, I did that wrong. I was supposed to hold it until, I was supposed to hold this one until these appear again and then release when they appear again. But I kept holding it and so it decided to go ahead and make it. Okay. So, 
Um, of course, look, that didn't put very much in there. Yeah, that's kind of like for like a tiny little teacup. Like an espresso is yeah. what it's like. Espresso. <laughs> smells good. I'm going to give it a shot and see how, how hot it is. Um, I'm going to see just how hot this is when I try it. Uh, I'm not a big fan of hot coffee. That's good. Actually, that's a perfect temperature, too. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Okay, I'm going to try this again. Okay. So... It says to hold this down until those come back on. Those are back on. Then it's going to go. The espresso is prepared. The espresso symbol and shrink symbol are flashing. Okay, they are flashing. See that? They are flashing. Yeah, yeah. And then touch the espresso symbol again when there's enough espresso inside the cup. But if that's espresso, how much espresso do we want to make? I'm not so sure. So I think we can do the size for everything. Maybe. Hey, it, it didn't. It kept going. It stopped. I didn't say it stopped. There's very little in there. So that's an espresso. Okay, that's not what I wanted. So. I'm going to do it for another. It doesn't talk about it. Um, but I'm going to do this myself. Hold this down. Until the other ones come on. Now they're flashing. And it should go until I say stop. Because it's a big cup of coffee. fancy for me but it was a gift to me so I really appreciate it uh well that didn't work see that didn't work did I mention that no coffee is going to go to waste today so that's a bigger amount but I mean, look at that. That's tiny. Yeah, that's very small. I need, I need more than that. So. This is weird. I think we need a much smaller cup. So it says touch the, so touch the button you want it to the other symbols appear, release the symbol. Doesn't make sense. Oh, now it wants more water. Have I used all the water? Oh, I sure have. Oh, all right, let's get some okay, more water. Try this again. I don't understand why it's not working the way I want it to. So. Oh, let me just read this. Let me read this again. I'm just gonna do it exactly like it says. Hold it down. flashing and it's supposed to go until I say stop. It's gone past the last time. I think because it ran, ran out of water. That's why it stopped. Uh, Again. 
<laughs> if I'm honest, it might be a full cup of the other milk. I mean, that's all it gives us. I can try to make it a full cup of that one. Hmm. But that doesn't make sense. Whoopsie, I made a mess. Mm -hmm. Um, hmm. Okay, okay, pause. I'm gonna try this one last time, and then I'm gonna think that if it doesn't fill up the way that I want it to fill up, then it's at the maximum setting, is what I am thinking. So, now I haven't gone through all of this just to see, but. Um, because I'm curious to know how many it says it can do 60 liters of water or 2,000 ounces of water through that filter. That's a lot, yeah. That is troubleshooting uses 1,450 watts. The holding water capacity without filter is 37.2 ounces. Holding capacity for beans is 4.4 ounces. Holding capacity of coffee grounds container approximately nine portions. Weighs 19.6 pounds, 8.9 kilograms. Nine inches wide, 12.7 inches high, 17.5 inches deep. So, uses lots of power too so um yeah it doesn't tell me how the how the size of a, of a actual cup of coffee will be so let me see let me try this again so you hold this down till the other ones come on So I'm gonna see if it'll stop if I hit this. So it will. So it is set up correctly. I was doing everything correctly. It's just that I was wanting a bigger portion. So now I'm gonna have to redo it and set it to the full size like I want. Yeah. So the maximum size of cup of coffee will do is eight ounces. Well, actually, is that less now? No, a little over eight. Right at eight ounces is it, okay? That's full size cup. Now we're gonna do, and I reset it back to maximum size. Now we're gonna do a little cup. So let's do, which one should we do? I guess espresso? Yeah. Or just espresso? Yeah, I guess it's espresso. Hopefully it doesn't overfill. Hopefully it doesn't. Um, you can go full strength or light? Mm -hmm. I've never done light, so let's try that. Ooh. If it overfills, it's fine. There's like a, a drainage right here. We'll we'll catch it all. pretty full. You can hit the button to make it stop, which is nice. Wow. Wow, that's fancy. Yeah, it is. And there we go. So I didn't realize that in the bag here, it actually comes with a uh, pH hardness to test your water. So that does come with that. It does say to do it, but I went ahead and use the filter anyways so how do i feel about this this thing is awesome 
Me personally, um, I would have wouldn't have spent the money on it because I'm just not that type of person to spend this kind of money on a, on a random thing, I guess. But I drink coffee every day. Uh, I drink coffee throughout the whole day, not just a bunch of at once. I actually go throughout the day. So it does make sense. You get a nice something you enjoy every day. Just do it. So for the price, seven ninety nine, I do recommend this one if you have the room for it. Um, you know, in our future plans for this coming year would be RV living full time. So we got to make sure this thing fits wherever we go. It's kind of a big, it, it's a big product. It's a, uh, yeah. So, but, uh, but anyways, uh, this has been fun. Uh, thanks for being here. Uh, like, comment, subscribe until the next one. And hopefully I've been saying it right. Jura. If not, just tell me down below. Till the next one. Bye-bye.